What's up you guys? I am going to show you a little update on the Modern Lodge. A lot of you have asked how we're doing with it. It's been a while. A lot of things have changed since the last time we were here. So first of all, it's black. <laughs> I love the color. We ended up going with Sherwin-Williams caviar. L gotta love a name. And when it fits so well, and it really makes the house look super modern. That window is still not done yet, so don't look at that window. Those windows down there look good, but they're a little dusty. Okay, come with me and I'll show you all the updates. All right, here we are. So I think last time the, the ceilings and walls have been sandblasted, but there was no hardwood floor and there was no cabinet. So we went with black. Island. The faucet is one of my favorite things. It's waterworks from luxury for less. I'm loving our GE cafe appliances. They've been amazing. I mean, I can't say enough about how beautiful they are how much they really just make the space. They look so modern and they work great. Over here you might have realized or seen, what are all these things out here? So I did a swap with Zulily and they gave me $300 of credit to show you guys what I could purchase for $300. So I went on their site and I found a bunch of stuff that we needed. So. I've been using a bunch of this stuff already, so it's already been washed multiple times. Um, these beautiful silverware, which is from Scandia. These knives, which the knives I, w I was using are clearly super, super dull because these guys are, these guys are super sharp. <laughs> so be careful, I'm glad they have the, the protectors. I got this 13 piece set, uh, pan set, and it's, it's Rachel Ray. They've been a dream to cook on, and it was nice to get to just get a whole big box of all the things I needed. It came with a spatula, it came with a cookie sheet. Really convenient for such a reasonable amount of money. I got some of these kitchen towels from Tag. Thought they went well with our modern Lodge vibe. Look how cool these salt shakers are. They also, I felt super modern, but also lodgy. And then in case anyone else, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I thought it'd be great to have a French press coffee maker up here. So I got that because it's so good looking. I love good design. So all of that, 300 bucks, you cannot beat that. All right, let's go on. Oh, let's look at those little lights up there. 143 lights. Uh, that's the company that did those, beautiful. Just super modern. Eventually we're gonna have our fan here. Every time I'm cooking, uh, it gets super hot in here. So I definitely need that. All right, let's go check out So it's kind of snug in here, um, but it's beautiful. So again, we have the 143 lights. Um, our windows are all from Windsor. Again, the faucet is from Waterworks, from Luxury for Less. And this amazing tub is Hydro, Hydro Systems. And honestly, it's a very, small space and this is the smallest standing tub I could find. Um, Duravit is who we got our toilets from and I never really thought that much about toilets until seeing these ones and the lines and the design of it is just so good. It's so good. It's like it really goes with this tub well too. All right, over here. <laughs> 
I'm repping my Deal or No Deal. They just started showing some reruns, so shout out to that. Um, we have this beautiful mirror. We have a light that's gonna go up there. Um, in fact, let me go grab it really quick. So this is the light that we're gonna hang up there. But this base is a little bit small for the hole that they left with the tile. So we're gonna have to figure out how to make it work. But I love that the color matches the tile so well. I'm, I love this faucet, which is also waterworks. And I like the placement of that. I think it's super unique and fun. Um, I love these candles too. It's Maplewood Moss by National Park Forest. Um, I forget the website. I'll put it on the links below because it's such a good one and smells so great. And my, I have been saving these tubby tods for since Christmas when they did this one because I thought they would work so well in here um, at the Modern Lodge. So representing the tubby tod. All right, I hear some kiddos running around out there. All right, let's go upstairs in the loft. Actually, before we get to the loft, <laughs> I'll show you the fireplace which um, I feel like it's getting so much closer to what I want. I need to finish it up here and just, I need the corner or the, the sides to be a little more crisp. And I couldn't reach way up here at the top, but in general, I'm really liking this, this new look. I ended up shaving all of the um, lava rock down and this is just mortar. I ended up putting mortar on here to cover in the spaces. Um, so I want it to be a little more smooth, like it's a little rough around here, but I'm gonna do a whole video on this because the fireplace has for sure been a struggle. All right, up to the loft. These stairs, we have not figured out what we want to do yet. And, and the loft, we haven't really done anything to it right now either. Um, we need a bed, but I want it to be less dirty. So I've been waiting to um, put it all together. I love this Novogratz um, patterned blankie and our Serenoni we always love. <laughs> uh, can't wait to get a new light. That's gotta go. All right, this is the master bathroom, or the loft bathroom, as we call it. And we need a light for that. And you can see we did a little marble ledge with the Duravitz toilet and Duravitz sink vanity. Um, super modern, I love the look. And then over here, we did a little marble um, seating, a little marble bench and the exposed shower system from Waterworks, from Luxury for Less, is just beautiful. I can't back up enough to show you the whole thing. There you go, you can kind of see it all. It's looking good. And some of the details are still, that edge is not doing great. But I also love these little tile, little rocks, flat rocks. All right, last I'm gonna show you the basement. All right, we're heading down. So the flooring is done down here, which looks beautiful. We did white plank, French oak, um, engineered wood. And we haven't finished painting the beams, but it used to have these wood boxes all along here and all along there, like the huge wood boxes, which we got rid of. Makes it look so much more open. Um, I still want to do some sliding glass doors here, but we're putting a pause on that. I can't wait to get rid of that guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. All right, that is where we're at with the Modern Lodge. We are um, slowly but surely <laughs> making it happen with the COVID-19 and 
all of the things. It's made it a little complicated and taken longer. But we're excited. Are you excited? Yeah. We're excited. We've been loving um, being up here a little bit with the quarantine. It's nice to get away from the city and uh, it's really just so beautiful. Let me show you the backyard. These sliding glass doors are from Windsor also. And there's nothing more peaceful. Bye everybody. Love you guys. Subscribe. I'm going to keep some videos coming. Um, you can see the rest of the house. Bye. 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 Bye.